You know, I watched a video of a professional U.S. Marine. They say we, with our equipment, it's talking about their Raider equipment, we see ships at 60, 100 miles, straight out. It's just for us at sea. There is no curvature. We see him with infrared equipment. We see him there. And they would ask him, do you have to calculate the curvature? No, what curvature? We clearly see him out there. And they're like, but you can't possibly see them. How are you going to tell me I can't see him? Of course I can, because curvature doesn't exist. There's no curvature. It's flat. Entirely flat. And when I say flat, it's flat. The word comes out in English. Completely flat. And they asked them, when you have a missile, they asked them, what's the system about sending a missile? The missile has a laser system. We send out the missile, but first we've got to point out our objective from our ship with a laser. Then, if it's 60 miles away, we point at it with a laser, and until we do not identify it, we do not fire the missile. Now, how the hell can you point it with a laser and curve that laser around the Earth? It's impossible. We're talking about kilometers below the horizon line. And I'm upset because they have lied to us even until today. They've lied to all of us and they, and they continue to lie to us when actually it isn't so. It is a lie because this prostitute has lied to all of us. And now I shall show you a personal home video. I won't show it to you on Google, so as to not have my personal address show up. But the footage was taken right from the very corner of this house, all the way to 11 miles away, a couple of water tanks, which I spotted with the help of Google, 11 miles away, 18.5 kilometers, and there should be a curvature of 87 feet. In other words, 27 meters below the horizon. Let's see if we can see it or not. And let's see if it's upright or not. I'm zooming in on it. You know where it's at? It's precisely close to the base. What am I going to zoom in on? It's close to the aerial base over there in... What's it called? Paris. Exactly. That's what I'm going to zoom in on from home. Okay, here we are recording to see how the Earth is, whether it's got curvature or not. We are precisely at my house. We're going to start to zoom in. It's a day in which everything has been cleared out due to a light rain. Let's start to slowly zoom in. All the way to those water containers there that you are seeing. And now let's find out how far away they are. I can perfectly well see the roof of those water tanks with no sort of angle, nor leaning away or falling back. I absolutely see them perpendicular. And we're talking, and we are now at a great distance. 11.44 miles. Look, can you see it in plain sight? You can't see it. We're gonna go slowly. That camera has the best lenses out there. Before, there used to not be such technology. And there is no curvature whatsoever. Now, the whole family went out, Leslie and the children. We went to the beach. I said, I'm sure the brethren are not going to believe me because they'll see the tank up higher. It doesn't matter if it's higher or lower. It has to be leaning away because it doesn't matter how high up it is. The earth, the earth follows its course, right? So then it's got to, it all has to point towards the center, right? And was that what our tank leaning away? Obviously not. Obviously not. But I said, maybe Danilo won't believe me. And so then I said, Let's go ahead and go out to the beach where everything is level, very level, everywhere you look. The water won't lie to you. Water always looks for its lowest point. It's always level. So then I said, let's go to Newport. First I measured the distances and planned where and how I wanted to do this. I went to Newport Pier. All of you here know Newport Pier, right? 
And I zoomed in on Pier La Santa Monica. No, not that one. I can't reach it because it was too cloudy. What I wanted to do is to zoom in on, because you can clearly see the Santa Canarina Island. But it was foggy and I just couldn't zoom in on it. Because if I zoom in on that, forget it. There's, forget about it. But oh well, but couldn't do it on that day. But I zoomed in on from Newport Pier and Huntington Beach Pier which is the beach next door, another pier, same level. So then there is an exact distance, and I can show to you on Google, Let's see if I have it here. I have it in uh, here, here's the distance. I'm standing here in Newport Beach Pier, and precisely I'm gonna zoom in on Huntington Beach Pier. I'm gonna zoom in on that pier and Google tells me that the exact distance is 5.44 miles, 8.75 kilometers over water, over water. Curvature has got to be observable here. And according to the rule we've got, which I don't want to lose here, wow, we've got to study so much. According to the rule we've got here, it says that in five miles, there has to be 16 feet of curvature below the horizon. Below the horizon, 16 feet. Are you listening? I mean, truth is so elementary. It's there and we just don't see it. Those miles have to be observable. Okay, six meters of curvature below the horizon, that has to be. Let's see if it's observable or not. Well, here we are on the pier, the Newport Beach Pier in California. And I am focusing on this other pier, which I will now... I'll stop the image there. How do you see that pier? Perpendicular or falling away? And you can see it as a whole. There's nothing being hidden by the waves. It is seen in its entirety and perpendicular as well. When there should actually be 20 feet of curvature. That isn't there. Doesn't exist. And I am focusing on this other pier, which now I will put on the screen what exact miles it is away according to Google Maps. Google Maps. Just so you see at what distance we are and how you can perfectly see the base. You can see it right there. You can see the people walking around perfectly well. And I'll start to draw back with the lens just so you see where we are. Where we are filming this from. We'll go ahead and zoom out. We are rather very far away. Zoom back in. As you can observe, there is no type of curvature, nor are they leaning away. If you noticed, you could make out the silhouette of the buildings behind in Long Beach. I don't know if you noticed. There was so much fog that you couldn't really notice it. But if you look closely, you'll notice the silhouette of the buildings.